Recently, when the temperatures dropped below zero, we ran into a problem. Our refrigerator stopped working and warmed up. Uh, we found out that RV refrigerators, um, which work on a cooling unit that has fluid in it, can get too cold. Um, I've heard some from some places that the liquid actually freezes, from some it's just too cold for the liquid to work properly with the heating element. Regardless of that, um, if your refrigerator stops working and it's below zero, the first step you want to take is turn your refrigerator off, because continually trying to run it that way uh, can potentially damage the fridge. And two, the way to fix this, we found, was to do a couple of things. One, you'll notice that I have taped up my vent. If you look behind your refrigerator on the RV, uh, you'll notice that there's a vent there. That vent serves uh, a few purposes. In warm weather, it vents out heat, which is created by the cooling unit. Uh, in cold weather, it still vents out any excess heat. Uh, if you're running your refrigerator off propane, uh, it allows oxygen to enter so that the propane can burn, and it also allows the propane fumes to vent out as well. Um, so if you are running your refrigerator off of propane, don't cover up your vents um, because you need that airflow for your fridge to function, function properly. Uh, however, if you're plugged into shore power and you're running your refrigerator off of electricity only, um, you can do this to stop some of the cold air from coming in and cooling your uh, cooling unit too much. Uh, venting uh, is something that's necessary, that's why the vent is put there. So you'll notice that I've covered up the top vent here with tape, uh, but these two bottom vents I've only covered up halfway. It's to slow the cold airflow, not to completely shut it out. The second thing that we did, I'm going to open this up here. Once you open this up, you won't have a heater inside of it. Your refrigerator generally will have a plug that looks just like this and it'll be plugged in. Uh, so I took a plug that allows me to plug multiple things in and I plugged a 250 watt heater. Uh, I'd recommend getting the smallest heater you could find. The smallest one I could find was 250 watts. It probably uses less than that. Uh, when it's on low but at the moment this is the cooling unit back here the thing that uh, gets too cold uh, I plug the heater in and I simply turn it on low and leave it there in the compartment um, this is small enough that it's not going to get the space too hot when it's cold outside obviously you're going to want to turn it off when the temperature rises um, some people have also used a light uh, in here and that works as well. Um, the, I don't really have enough room for a light, which is why I opted for this uh, little heater instead. Anyhow, plug it in, turn it on when the weather is going to get uh, close to zero, and leave it in there. Uh, if your fridge has already stopped working, you may need to let that sit in there for several hours to heat, kind of warm up the system again before you turn the fridge on. Uh, but if you're doing this as a preventative measure, just stick it in, let it run while it's cold, and your refrigerator should continue running. Uh, if you liked this uh, tip, we have more tips on our channel. Uh, also, if you could click the uh, little circle um, that will pop up in order to subscribe to our channel. We'd greatly appreciate it. You'll get all of our new news and videos. You can check us out on the web at henleyshappytrails.com as well. Thank you and happy trails.